During the last five years, the most powerful militaries in the world have been developing hypersonic weapon systems capable of reaching five times the speed of sound. But as Russia and China stepped ahead of the United States, the Air Force initiated the Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon Program, or ARO, which led to the AGM-183A hypersonic missile developed by Lockheed. After a series of unsuccessful tests, the incredibly potent missile finally proved its worth in May of 2022, paving the way for a weapon that could eventually spiral to previously unthinkable heights. Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon In May of 2018, the U.S. Air Force began an ambitious program to expedite the development of a hypersonic missile weapon system. Intelligence officers had expressed their concerns about rumors that China and Russia were already experimenting with these new weapons, and the U.S. intelligence community and the Department of Defense took the threat seriously. A hypersonic missile or vehicle can exceed speeds five times the speed of sound, or upwards of 3,800 miles per hour, and developing a weapon with such characteristics is no easy task. Fluid air dynamics at hypersonic speeds behave differently when compared to the speeds at which fighters and missiles travel. Will Roper, the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics, then announced that there was already a team evaluating how to develop a weapon with such features. The program was called Aero, or Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon. The Air Force, Navy, Army, Department of Defense, and the Missile Defense Agency signed a memorandum the following month to work together on the project. And on August 13th, the U.S. Air Force awarded a $480 million contract to Lockheed Martin to develop an air-launched hypersonic weapon. The cybersecurity strategy of the Aero program received final approval seven months later, and Lockheed accelerated the new weapon's creation. AGM-183A Aero The result of the Aero program was the AGM-183A hypersonic missile developed by Lockheed. It is a small-sized, air-launched missile that is being developed to reach speeds of up to Mach 20, with an estimated range of over 575 miles. The AGM-183A works with a hypersonic boost glide system that uses DARPA's tactical boost glide technology. A rocket propels the payload to high speeds and then separates from it, flying like a glider towards the intended target. Afterward, the missile's aeroshell drops from a high altitude, and the hypersonic glider's warhead detaches to maneuver and impact the target while maintaining the same hypersonic speeds. The launch platforms that carry the American hypersonic missile are the B-52, B-1B, and F-15 aircraft. The advantages of fielding this type of weapon are numerous, as it can swiftly overcome contested environments with its superior high speed, maneuverability, and altitude. This allows the U.S. Air Force to strike time-sensitive objectives from standoff distances without compromising more valuable assets. The Flight Tests The weapon's first flight test took place over Point Mugu Sea Range, off the coast of California on April 5, 2021. A B-52 Stratofortress from the 419th Flight Test Squadron and the Global Power Bomber Combined Test Force attempted to launch the AGM-183A, but the missile was unable to complete its launch sequence, forcing the bomber to return to Edwards Air Force Base. Brigadier General Heath Collins, the U.S. Air Force's Program Executive Officer for its Armaments Directorate, said in a statement, quote, The Aero Program has been pushing boundaries since its inception and taking calculated risks to move this important capability forward. While not launching was disappointing, the recent test provided invaluable information to learn from and continue ahead. This is why we test. The second missile test took place on July 28, 2021, in the same place as the first. This time, the B-52H successfully dropped the Aero test missile, but its rocket motor failed to ignite after separation. Months later, after gathering more information about the previous mischiefs, the Air Force conducted a third test on December 15th. However, this test also failed, as the prototype missile never left the aircraft's wing. 
Brigadier General Collins told the press that, quote, the launch sequence was aborted before release with an unknown issue. The missile will return to the factory, and analysis of the telemetry and onboard data will begin immediately. The program will seek to resume flight test as quickly as possible. The third attempt's objective was to demonstrate the correct functioning of the rocket booster and to study how the nose cone breaks apart and how the unpowered hypersonic boost glide vehicle is released. If it had been successful, the Air Force would have conducted another test to analyze the performance of the boost glide vehicle as it glided towards its target at hypersonic speeds. Retired Air Force General John Hyten, then Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, expressed his concerns about the third attempt. Quote, what you need to be worried about is that in the last five years, or maybe longer, the United States has done nine hypersonic missile tests, and at the same time, the Chinese have done hundreds. Practice makes perfect. On May 14th, 2022, the Air Force announced that it had finally conducted its first successful hypersonic weapons test. Footage taken by the Air Force during the trial showed how the AGM-183A was gracefully released from a B-52H. Following the separation, the missile's booster ignited and burned, successfully achieving hypersonic speeds five times greater than the speed of sound. Collins' tone was different this time, telling the media that, quote, this was a major accomplishment by the Aero team for the weapons enterprise and for our Air Force. The team's tenacity, expertise, and commitment were key in overcoming the past year's challenges to get us to the recent success. We are ready to build on what we've learned and continue moving hypersonics forward. Additionally, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Jungquist, the 419th FLTS commander, noted, quote, Our highly skilled team made history on this first air-launched hypersonic weapon. We're doing everything we can to get this game-changing weapon to the warfighter as soon as possible. Closing the gap. The groundbreaking success of the Aero hypersonic missile test in May of 2022 put the U.S. Air Force on track to close the hypersonic missile gap with China and Russia. The American test came weeks after President Vladimir Putin told Russian media outlets that his son of Satan intercontinental ballistic missile could target the United Kingdom with unprecedented results. A second successful free flight of the Aero then took place on July 12, 2022, and the Air Force stated that the exercise concluded the booster test phase of the program, clearing it for operational testing later in the year. In addition, several journalists have reported that Russia has been experimenting with air-launched hypersonic weapons as far back as 2020, as Su-57 stealth fighters have been spotted carrying prototype hypersonic missiles. A paper from RIA Novosti went as far as to say that these Russian missiles will include seeker heads and electrical circuits. Other reports have mentioned that Russia is developing more than one type of hypersonic missile. One of them is called Kinjai, and it appears as though it will be employed by the MiG-31 Foxhound interceptor. If true, Russia may become the first country in the world to successfully field fifth-generation fighters with air-to-ground hypersonic missiles. Whichever the case, the U.S. Army, Air Force, and Lockheed Martin will continue testing the AGM-183A hypersonic missile before reaching early operational capability in 2023. If everything goes as planned, it could be only a matter of time before the U.S. Air Force starts mass-producing this new hypersonic technology. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. And check out our other Dark Documentaries channels for more exciting history-inspired videos. Stay tuned.